Hello, AP Physics 1. I am here to walk you through your calendar for the week. We're going into week five of this, and I am slowly losing my mind not seeing you all every day and not going out into the world except to grocery shop. Um, I hope you're doing better than that, uh, but if you're not, feel free to come chat. Happy to help out. Anyways, there's our acronym reminders. Here's what we got going on. Uh, first half of the week, flipping physics videos. We're shifting gears from angular momentum. We're moving into simple harmonic motion. Simple harmonic motion is when something oscillates back and forth. Um, and it does it in a particular way. So we've got several videos on Monday, but notice the times. Each of them are under five minutes long. This one's four minutes. This one's five minutes. This one's two and a half. Um, so not much total runtime there. Um, those are on Edpuzzle. Tuesday, two more short videos. These are a bit longer. That's why there's only two. Um, one is a pendulum in simple harmonic motion. It isn't always, but there is a condition where it is. And then we want to look at what factors affect the period of something oscillating in simple harmonic motion. This is a great lab to do in person. Um, yeah, but we're not in person, are we? So watching Mr. Palmer do it is the next best thing. Really pay attention, though, because there are some surprising results there. There are some things that you might expect to affect the time it takes to go back and forth that don't actually impact that variable at all. So pay attention to that video. Wednesday, uh, two more flipping physics videos. If we triple the mass on a spring mass system, this is a block on a like slinky or a spring going back and forth, how does that affect the period? Um, and then what is the difference between the word frequency and the word period in simple harmonic motion? Um, they're related, but not the same. And then we'll end with a positive physics unit 16 vocab and concepts. That's to help drill some of those ideas in the videos we've seen. Friday, two more positive physics, one on frequency and period, and some oscillation problems. So the latter half of the week is applying what you learned in the beginning half of the week from the flipping physics videos. And then Friday, as all Fridays from here on out, um, they're teacher work days. They're days for us to develop our online teaching tool belt. Um, so just use that time. If you're behind on anything, that's what you should, that's when you should do it. If you're caught up, uh, take the day off, go for a walk, go for a run, stretch, um, do whatever you need to do. All right. Miss you all so much. And I uh, look forward to the chance where we can all be together again.